to determine the mass of the sun, we can't go and weigh the sun directly. I mean, we can't go that distance. We can't clearly um, put the sun on a scale. So the way astronomers measure the mass of something, they use Kepler's law. They find something that's orbiting that object and determine the period of that and its distance, and we'll be and we'll be able to determine the mass. So we're going to start with uh, our picture. So we have a picture of the sun. Here we go. And we're going to use the Earth as the orbiting body. And the Earth goes around the sun. And say it's going around this way. And the period, uh, the, the time it takes for the Earth to go all the way around the sun is one year or 365 days. Okay. Further, we have the size of the orbit, which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, and that is 1.5 times times 10 to the 8 kilometers. This is also equivalent to 1 astronomical unit, or 1 AU. Finally, we want to know what is the mass? What is the mass of the Sun? Kepler's law gives us the total mass of the two objects, but since the Earth is so much smaller than the Sun, this will be pretty much the mass of the of the Sun. So we write down Kepler's law in, in the following in the following way. We have p squared in days is equal to a cubed measured in kilometers all over the mass, total mass, in kilograms, times the funny constant, which is 7.9 times 10 to the 10, sorry, kilogram day squared per kilometer cubed. Okay, so those are the units. We know the period, we know the um, semi-major axis, or in this case we're assuming a circular orbit, approximately circular, so it's the radius, and we want to know what the mass is. So we want to bring the mass over to the left-hand side, so let's do that, and so we end up with mass, again, it's going to come out in kilograms. We bring the p squared over by dividing both sides, so it looks very similar. And this is in kilometers over p squared measured in days times the, f the constant 10 to the 10 kilogram day squared per kilometer cubed. All right, so we plug in the values for these, so we end up with 1.5 times 10 to the 8 kilometers. This quantity is going to be cubed. We have 365 days. This quantity is going to be squared. And then we have the constant, 7.9 times 10 to the 10 kilogram day squared per kilometer cubed. Notice that the units check out, the kilometers cubed here are going to cancel with the kilometers cubed in the constant, the day squared cancels with the day squared here. So, then we can do the calculation with our calculator, 1.5 times the 8, we cube that we multiply by 7.9 times 10 to the 10. We divide by 365 squared. And we get about 2 times 10 to the 30 kilograms. And that will be the mass of the sun. Compare that to the mass of the Earth. Mass of the Earth is about 6 times 10 to the 24 
kilograms. Notice this is 30, this is 24, that's a, that's a factor of a million. So, um, so we're talking about nearly a million, about 500,000 times more massive. Uh, so the, the sun is much, much larger than the earth.